Hello and welcome to what I think is the 8th video in this series now. Um, in the last video we got up to, I think it was noise and monoflop. Um, so we're going to cover, I'm just going to briefly talk about what these nodes do. So let's just delete this setup really quickly. So drag a, an object in and all the object does, it kind of acts as like a, a placeholder. So you can see at the moment it's not referencing anything. So the reference is null. Um, and we've got, when we reference an object, we've got um, this path slot. So if we want to access maybe a child of the object, we can use um, simple commands like D and N and um, stuff like that, um, which we'll cover a bit later on. But at the moment, all you need to know is if we pull on, say, cube into this slot, now this placeholder references this cube here. And it's exactly the same as just grabbing the cube and just pulling it in. So it's it's a lot quicker just to grab it and pull it out of the object manager and straight in. Um, so I tend to not drag that out from this point. So that's that. Um, the next one is the object index, um, and this is this is used for iteration. So what this is used for is used when you're trying to like reference an object or a list of objects, um, and then you need to kind of reference the index as well of this. Okay, so we briefly covered those. We've got point and polygon, um, and th in this example, we're going to be basing um, the example on the point node. So we're pulling point and polygon. What these do is we reference an object through this port here. Um, we can reference a particular point um, on the object because each one, each point on an object has its individual kind of reference or index value, um, and you can access that in the um, structure manager over here and then we can output things like um, point count we can output the point normal um, if we need to um, and we've but generally most of the uses uh, are going to be like outputting the um, point position um, and we've got the polygon node as well which does you know a very kind of similar thing but it's based on po polygons rather than points so for this example we'll just delete this polygon node um, and we'll do the example based on points for this example, I've got um, a cube in the object manager, so we'll just pull that in. I've converted it down, so it's a polygonal object, and we'll just pull out the object port and pull that straight into objects on this. So we now uh, we now know which object to reference, um, but we don't know which point in particular we want to, you know kind of link this null to. So the idea being for this example is we've got this null, um, I've just made it vis visible, changed the display type so we can see it in the um, object view. Um, and what I want to do is kind of link that to a particular point in here. Now this can be really handy, say if you've got splines or other objects, or if you're linking objects to objects, um, which are deforming and you need them to kind of like move through or stick to the surface throughout the animation. Um, it's very specific. Um, this could be like a handy little tool to do that. So, okay, we've got, so we know which object it is. Um, let's just have a think about like which um, point we want to stick this to. So let's just say we want to stick to this point. If we go into the structure manager here, you can see as I select different points on the cube, we're referencing different um, index values here. So, and obviously each, each value's got a different position as well. So if you click on this point, we know it's um, index value five. Okay, so on this point node, we can just change that to value five. So we now know what objects we're looking at, we know which index we need to reference, um, and then with both of those referenced, we can then output that position. So we can output that position directly into the null. So we pick the null, drag the null in, um, and then just pull point position onto the null. We'll go to um, what I would say is probably always tend always use um, global position um, over um, like any any local kind of coordinates unless you need to use those based on you know your parent object or child object or if you if you've got any particular requirements to that so because it'll always be referenced at a particular point in the scene so what i mean by that is if i was to say 
group the null group the cube into a null and then move that in the scene the object or the null um, that's linked will always remain stuck to that point and it won't lose its kind of position based on any kind of um, hierarchy or grouping okay so so yeah let's just link this straight into coordinates we'll go to position um, global position now you didn't see that move because it was already in that place but now if we try to move this it's locked in so Espresso is locking that null to that position um, and you should be able to see as well if we kind of move the position on the mesh you see it's locked to it you do have some options on here we've got um, use deformed points now if you check this what will happen is it will calculate this before uh, or with the deformation so let's just say you had um, some kind of random or displaced effect on this um, it'll read or it'll make sure the null position is is understanding the movement of the displacement of the point um, and just make sure it always links with that so if you if you've got any kind of like um, modifiers or you know, like deformers on your objects then just check this um, and it should fix like any problems you have matrix mode set to global um, that's fine as it is and then that's it for the parameters really you've got point index here so if you want to kind of reference every point or maybe you want to kind of like you had a whole bunch of nulls and you want to link every null to every point then you could run some kind of iteration which loops through all the point indexes and just pulls all of those to all the points um, but because this is just a really basic example so we're going to keep it really simple so so yeah there there we go we've got um got that working and um it is a really handy feature it's something a really handy thing to know um and um, you'll probably find yourself using that quite a bit so let's just jump into um, Python and do the same kind of thing. So we'll just click on this node and we'll dis uh, disable that. Just so it's not overriding anything in Python. Um, we'll just make sure we've got this enabled yet. That's fine. Um, okay, let's go over to the expression for you. And um, I've already put some user data on this. So we need the user data because we need to know which object to reference. So I've already pulled that in, uh, and you can do that really easy by going to user data, add user data, manage user data, and I've just pulled in um, a link field into this. And I've covered that quite a few times in um, some of the other videos. So, okay, let's just um, create a, a variable for the null here. So we want, we'll just call this null. Make that equal to op, um, and then get objects. So we want to be getting this object um, from the null, there uh, from the tag. Sorry. So dot get object. Open close brackets. Then the next variable we want to get or oh, create is the is for the cube. So we'll call this obj. make that equal to op and then just click and drag this into this point okay so we've no so we've got a variable which is storing the objects and we've got a variable that's storing the null um, now what we want to do is now we've got a variable for the objects we want to pull out the point um, information from that object so we can do that by declaring a new variable which is um, we'll just call this PTS for points just make that equal to um, obj dot get uh, get all points I'll just print this so print PTS I'll just print that to the console and you can see we've got um, a vector for each individual point um, on this. Now we don't need all the points, we only need to reference one particular point of this. Um, 
and we know which point that is because we kind of referenced that in the structure manager before so we know it's point it's five so from the structure manager we went to that point and you can see it's here it's five so we, all we want to do is we want to reference just just the number there fifth or whichever is um, the fifth point so just pop in five in brackets just clear this execute again and there we go we've got the fifth one um, and if we check the values they should be right so 100 100 100 in this and um, so with this this should be enough information for us to then directly link this inf this value straight um, straight to the null okay so now we've got all the points we've got all the point values we've um, we know which index to refer to for a particular point what we can do is just <clears throat> we can set then set the absolute position of the null to that particular point so we can do that by <clears throat> typing in null dot set abs pause and then in brackets <clears throat> we'll put the pts so pts in square brackets <clears throat> reference the fifth point close the brackets and execute this now we've got no errors so if we try to move the null you can see it's locked to that particular point and again if we move the point within the object you can see it's locked to that again so this is exactly the same as um, using the Expresso setup. Um, Python tends to execute a little bit quicker um, and it gives you a bit more control over um, <clears throat> what you're doing as well. So you could probably push things just a little bit further than um, what you can do in Expresso. So I hope you found this useful. If you've, if you've um, liked the video, please um, give it a like and um, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.